Hello. Got a minute to go before this one starts. My table will pop up any second now. And uh, this is another one that I think I'll just put on YouTube regardless of my performance. Unless it's like really, really bad. <laughs> Unless I like meet some total lunatic who's all in every hand and I pick up like pocket queens on the first hand and lose them all. All right. Wow. So we're going to pick up a really big hand on the first one. I'm <laughs> Chet, you betcha. You got to be And he's from Japan? Oh my gosh. All right, hold on. Um, going around. Uh, I'm from U.S. Big Orator, Russia. I'm Chet Ubecha from Japan. Spider Twenty Three, Canada. Stinky Twelve Eleven, United States. The Animator, who, by the way, has already qualified for this already more than twenty times. So he's really just wasting money at this point. United States. Budra 7 Russia. Slau King, Russia. And Stinky using a shark avatar tells me that they might be a Gura fan. And I wish that there was a chat function so I could speak to them about it. <laughs> I would love to, I would love to talk about Gaur Gura in the middle of a poker game. seemed to be a good flop for me. The ace and a spade. You guys are awfully slow. We're starting with just 4,000. And I'll show you I wasn't screwing around. All right. So, nice, nice start. Um, you've seen me play and post uh, a video of day one of the dime before. This is in the same vein as one of those. I've explained this twice already, but I didn't bother uploading the other two videos because I just didn't play very well. But this is my third and final attempt at getting into this one. So this is a $2.50 buy-in with a $75,000 prize pool. Well, guaranteed prize pool. We've actually blown well past that already. A lot of players. Um, the idea is just survive 16 levels. We have 10 minute blinds starting at 2040. We only have 4,000 starting chips. By the end of the by the end of this day one session, the blinds will be 501,000. So on day two, which is three days from now on Sunday, the blinds will be 600 Now, keeping that in mind, you are allowed to play as many day ones as you want to stockpile a bunch of chips. Of course, you you'll be spending two dollars and fifty cents for every single one of them. And there is somebody who already has over a million points stockpiled for day two who's qualified 39 separate times. So they spent $100 on this one game when they could have just spent 250 Because there is actually somebody I checked who is only in for one bullet, $2.50, who has 195,000 chips. And with the blinds at... 600 and 1200 that is a monster stack like monster you don't need to play 39 times to have a big stack i've only signed up three times like i said and this is going to be my last attempt so i'm just going to put it to, put it to youtube no matter what just because this is a really nice special event i don't remember 
this being at previous high fives. And this isn't even the only one like this. There's also a $16.50 buy-in with the same premise with a $300,000 300, guaranteed prize pool. I'm just thinking with the 251 because it's more in my price range. And of course, I'm pretty much ready to quit poker if I don't run at this. There's this, and then a 110 tournament later, and then an $11 tournament. Although, if I make day two of this with a substantial stack, I, I think I'll forego the $11 tournament because that's, that's also on Sunday. goal is like to finish this with something like 37,000 this will give me like 31 31 big blinds like even if I'm at a table where five other players you know qualified nine or 12 separate times 31 big blinds will still give me plenty of time to to sit back and wait for a good spot to double up. I got a combo draw here, but... <laughs> it's not really the ideal combo draw now, is it? Maybe I could have seen the turn. For the record, I'm not wearing headphones because the family's out um, getting groceries and I will stop what I'm doing to help them once I hear them. I want to make sure that I hear them. Spade heavy board lately. I'm getting great odds, but eh. I feel like it's already come it's already come spades enough. I think we're gonna see a lot of red cards on this board. Well, I'm wrong, but also no folders remorse. Remorse. That with three days to go, um, this tournament has had forty-one thousand nine hundred and seventy-seven runners, generating a prize pool of ninety-four thousand four hundred forty-eight dollars and twenty-five cents. Two twenty five goes into the prize pool and twenty five cents is rake. They were anticipating thirty thousand players into this, and somehow this has vastly exceeded their expectations. And what excites me is that if I, if I can get to day two, we go from having 10-minute levels to having 15-minute levels. Which, honestly, should drive the point home even further that all you really need to, to have a chance on day two is, a, is like a 30-big blind stack. Because they go up slower. You'll have time to sit on a stack like that. You don't need to buy in 39 times and get to a million chips. Because I did the math. Even if we pretend that he almost always um, made it to day two and never busted on day one in any of the... in any of those that's a hundred dollar that, that, that's a hundred dollars being spent on this we've got over 2300 players on day two and you'd have to finish 33rd or better to just to cover all of his buy-ins now granted 
it becomes a bounty on day two. So there are ways to kind of speed that process up and get some money, which is probably what he was going for by stockpiling so many chips. But there's that caveat. But then there's a caveat of, well, we don't know how many turn how many times he busted day one, so they, I, I, so I say they kind of cancel each other out, and he, he's going to need to finish 33rd, even with some, some help from knockouts, to make up all those buy-ins. I just can't see in, in what universe that's ever worth it. Wow. I guess the spades just kind of like coming out today. That's the kind of board that the other guys are almost certainly going to have something to play. So raising here for a bluff is just a bad idea. Yeah, especially that. Song69, uh, Brasil. Welcome. I'm still amazed that I'm playing with Chet Ubecha from Japan. <laughs> I honestly had no idea that Fairly Odd Parents had even made it over there. I mean, I know SpongeBob made it over there. I didn't. I didn't think Fairly Odd Parents did. Which I'm, which I'm like, I'm not saying that Fairly Odd Parents wasn't extremely popular. Obviously, because obviously it is, but um, or at least was. Um, but I feel like. How do I say this? I feel like much of its humor is kind of ingrained within American culture. Not all of it, but like a good chunk of it. Although, the more I think about it, I mean like the I'm sure, the, I'm sure most of the plots don't really need to be changed all that much to make sense for a universal audience. They just hit better if you're an American, I guess. But the, the, they'll still hit. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense that it made it to Japan. I'm glad it did. And I'm glad that I uh, grew up in the time that I did. This Nickelodeon really came out with some bangers once I once I started to age up a little bit. Especially when they when they when they made Avatar: The Last Airbender, I was becoming just old enough to actually appreciate a more mature show like that. And by making a, a show like that, they showed their appreciation of their demographic. Unlike what, like, 80% of kids' shows do nowadays. Which are basically cartoon equivalents of dangling keys in front of kids in hopes, in hopes that they'll just laugh for absolutely no reason because it's making a noise. Well, that's about as clear-cut of a fold as you can get. <laughs> I'm ranting about children's programming while playing poker. I mean, hey. I had fun in my last tournament, which I hadn't been having fun in a long time. I'm just glad to be in a, in a good mood again. That still doesn't change the fact that I'm probably going to be quitting. Though. Five of clubs. <laughs> the six of clubs is out there, too, so that means I've pretty, pretty much got a one out, or if that. Notice that I've only won the first pot, but it was good enough to keep me above that 4,000 mark. Even after all this.
like even the name Chet you betcha you would think that they they might alter a little bit to fit other languages but i guess not if if a japanese person is is saying i'm Chet you betcha <laughs> I mean, you're going to need a bit of an explanation for why he's named that, if you don't speak English. Natively, anyway. Black Belt Poker from the United States, welcome. And it is really difficult for a native Japanese speaker to learn English for a number of reasons. Like the entire Japanese language is based on syllables and every letter of the kana alphabets anyway. Try something here. That's a pretty thick bet. I think he probably wants me to go. Let's see if I can pull this off. I hope that's a fake tank. Crap. I won't even fake tank back. I'll just chalk that one up as a missed as a as a misread. Like in the Kana alphabets, every letter is always pronounced the same way every single time. And the sentence structure is completely different with every sentence ending with the verb. Like pretty much without exception, at least as far as if as far as I know. Admittedly, I've only had one semester, but every sentence ends with the verb. And what my Japanese teacher told me about that is that it forces the listener to keep paying attention because the listener needs to know what the whole point of the sentence is, and they're not going to get that if they don't hear the verb at the end. So they need to, like, while they're listening to the sentence, they need to make sure to piece everything together and then listen to what to what the verb is so you know what they're actually talking about. It's just, just such a vast difference between the way we between the way we write our sentences. Of course, English words can be pronounced very different from the way that they look. You know, vowels have like three or four ways of being pronounced. Sometimes vowels will be pronounced different ways within the same word. Academy. Two A's pronounced differently. I just I just came up with a word immediately off the cuff that demonstrates that that demonstrates that that should tell you English is really annoying to learn for foreigners. Street, nice little small value bet there. I spent this entire tournament riffing instead of actually talking about my play, mostly because I haven't had much to play. I just had a feeling that Songha sixty nine wanted me to wanted me to leave that hand. I figured that if I checked, he would see bet anyway, and that was a pretty big C bet. I figured I could make him full with a check raise, but I couldn't. 
Especially because they haven't been messing around much. There's the, there's the garage door. Wouldn't miss anything. But I'm recording, so I'll know later. They actually haven't been to the store yet. So. Ooh. Ooh, that was quite the tease of a flop, wasn't it? Songha 69's off to a tremendous start. It's a bit of a weak hand, but hopefully I can do something with it. But already only has 14 seconds left in the time frame. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. Do I see bet? I think I am going to see bet because there's the 10 8 of diamonds out there. If I see bet small enough, hopefully somebody calls it a flush draw. That's another good card for me. Now we'll check. I wonder where Cloud's out there. It should be obvious that I'm not worried about anything right now. That's what I was hoping for. Is we'll go for the jugular. NY Smoothly, United States, welcome. Stutter Step is a powerful weapon. Especially when you're second to act. For the record, I raised all in there because I figured I figured a smaller raise would just look a bit fishy. Because we're dealing with small numbers anyway. Like, even after that hand, I've got 56 big blinds, which is, you know, alright. It's all well and good, but for being this early in a tournament, I'm used to having a lot more than that. I 
I've seen the animator around forever. <laughs> Not forever, but like around everywhere. You know, during this month that I've been playing. From the United States, by the way. This guy has been playing every single tournament that I mean, I don't know what kind of budget he has, or if he's just madly addicted. I'm kind of surprised that he's not one of the uh, America's Card Room, you know, Stormers, aka Streamers. I don't know why they call them Stormers, just because it sounds slightly cooler. <laughs> hey, Queen again. So I can underrepresent my hand. He's already raised big and blew his pot. Still underrepped it though. Problem is that board will probably hit a uh, small blind raising range a lot more than it'll hit mine. This is no longer really being worth it. Well, I should have threed that pre flop. I mean, I, I've I've said this before. I don't know if I said it while actually recording for YouTube, but I am really bad at these weird blind yeah. v blind type spots. They just are too strange and uncomfortable for me. Which is weird, because... Because, if I remember correctly from my days on Replay Poker, I'm actually a pretty good heads-up player. Which is literally just blind v blind every single hand. But maybe it's because you've been gradually whittling down, you know, from five-handed to four-handed. You know, you're getting more used to playing short-handed, whereas here, you start at a whole, you know, with a full table and it just becomes de facto short-handed. Mathematician in the house, limit DNE, United States, welcome. Smoky Smile, Russia, and... Oh, Spider23 from Canada is back with a big stack. Limit DNA using a very good avatar. Not just because Han Solo's really cool, but uh, as that's what Dead Tones used to win the last tournament that I played. Albeit in rather aggravating fashion as he just kept on wasting time bank every other hand. Big Orator, Russia, welcome. And I can tell that he rebought because he's in for exactly 4,000 and I saw his name at the very beginning of the list. So that's a rebuy. I just feel like rebuying into a flight, <laughs> you know, one of over a hundred flights, which basically turn, which are basically rebuys in and of themselves, is just extra pathetic. Just didn't want to wait another. I mean, they, they're they're literally every two hours for twenty one days. I really don't think you have to rebuy into the same one. That just raises another question. <laughs> uh, the man who... I don't want to name his name. Uh, but... I know what it is. I just don't want to name it for the sake of, you know... I don't want this to turn into a diss track or anything. Uh... <laughs> Those 39 entries. 
we already know that we can't expect that he, you know, didn't fail a time or two, but did he rebuy in any of those? Even if he successfully made it, did he rebuy any of those? How much money has he spent on this one game? The chances of his bankroll being larger at the end of it than it was at the start are just becoming absolutely minuscule. Because it doesn't matter how many times you buy into it, you can't make money until day two starts. Unless, of course, you do well in other tournaments that don't have anything to do with this one. But you know, you know what I'm trying to say. If he's been doing well in cash games and other and other tournaments, then great. But really, after like five, six successful entries, building your stack up to 200k with blinds at 600, 1200, how much more are you even really helping yourself? How much more of a difference are you making? in an awkward spot being limped and everything I know I should raise but if I was to raise I'd probably have to make it like 500 and that's an eighth of my stack I don't really want to do that well he's going to do it for me I still have too strong of a hand to just give, to just give up It's a horrible spot. I should have just folded. We got one pair, and there's like draws everywhere. Is he ever doing that with a 7, though? Okay, well, at least I got a break from the bets. Six of hearts shouldn't change much. Okay, that's reasonable. Yes! Esporte de Mente, Brazil, welcome. Not entirely sure if kind of a big biggish raise I've got. Nah. That's about as long as I'll ever spend pre flop unless I'm unless I'm deciding for my whole stack. Not even sure if Esporte is referring to regular sports or esports. Because I know that regular sports is deportes in Spanish. Of course, he's from Brazil, they speak Portuguese, so I don't know. The, uh, the friends from Brazil that I've made on the internet actually seem to be better at English than they are Spanish. I don't know if that's a nationwide trend or anything. But the people that I've happened to meet from there spend more time learning English than Spanish, it would seem. Even though they are similar languages. A 
Well, this is already the most the most competent I've been in any of these uh, three flights that I've taken. See, I only need to to, to bag seven dollars and fifty cents to profit on this. I'm not gonna look up what position that is because I mean we're not even close to there yet. We gotta get there. I'm saying if I get there, then the work I have to do to profit off of it is nowhere nowhere close to what some of those other guys have to do. I think Bud Seven is the only person. Well, I guess technically Spider Twenty Three as well, but they're the only two who have been at this table the whole time. Bud's the only one who has truly been at this table the whole time, along with me. Hello. Did that really require thirty seconds of tanking? Oh, I had to say that, didn't I? Fondectus, I remember you. And Songha 69 in the exact same seat. And anyway, why smoothly followed me here. My last shot, Russia. I cur... Oh, I see your cards, baby. United States. Bobby DLC, or... Bobby Dillick? United States. Sean Hobby, we know is Brazil. And Fondectus, we've seen already, is from... Argentina. I think I think last the last game that I played, Condex Death was there. Yeah, yeah. Because he was one of the people making making like a comeback run or two when I was on my own comeback run. That's a pretty good flop for sixes, I gotta say. So far, so goo. This is a very defendable spot, but I'm just not feeling it on this one. I'm gonna let him take this one. Oh, Reg does 23, press, or Portugal, sorry. Not feeling it with this one either. But if it's going to fold to me, then I guess holding an ace, might as well. I didn't completely lift that flop. Well, it took a while to call, so maybe I should keep going, but also that card's probably not going to change his outlook on his hand very much. Maybe I can act like I've hit a, like I've got a five. 
Oh, I got a bit more than that. He's going to call me. That was a terrible bet. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, I told, I told you I'm really bad at blind versus blind. I wish somebody had raised and I could just fold in my hand. It's okay though. Even when the blind's going up, I still got fifty two or fifty one. So it's not like that hand, that hand crippled me or anything. Actually got sunshine. I had like four thunderstorms yesterday. It's still rainy about up until about an hour and a half ago. That's a pretty big raise. Yeah, that's a pretty big raise. I don't know <laughs> what you're trying to say with that. But I have seven two off suits, so I don't even I don't even have to care what you're saying with that. I can just fold. Well, uh oh, five or six. Okay, good. <laughs> Overkill. But the actual good hand win that win that hand. Raise that much with pocket sixes and then can't get away from it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I I know this is not exactly a, a deep tournament, but uh, I'm glad I don't have that much gamble in me. That's actually reasonable. And to be dealt when you're down to two big blinds. Needs a 10, though. Lock Expert. Oh, Lock Express from Russia. Welcome. Might be making a bit of a mistake with this raise. It's against Zhongha again. Is that exactly the same flop I got dealt last time I had Ace 10? It is, isn't it? It was Ace Queen 8. Okay, I'm in check call mode now. It's the exact same runout. Does he have Queen Jack? No. Oh, chopped it. Well, not the worst thing that could have happened, obviously. That was the same runout. Or was it sevens last time? 
It might have been sevens. What is happening? The robots are just recycling hands. have caught the robots red-handed at something, I guess. <laughs> you could say. Oh. Nice work there, Lock Express. I know the Black Belt Bokers also rebuying, and he might have to rebuy again. Again, why? You could just move right on to the next one, starting over from scratch. When you're not behind the whole table. I mean, a starting stack, well, like, if he gets knocked out here and then comes back with a starting stack, he's last place at the table. You know, why not just wait for the next one, you know, two-hour flights, just wait for the next one so you can start equal with, it, with everybody else? Got a shot. Nine or ace. Ace! And he's still just flat out insta three bet shoves the next hand with four, with forty three hundred, and a snap call by Lock Express with just a couple fives. I guess with this queen suited, I, I might go all in too, but it wasn't even a decision for him. What am I bearing witness to exactly? Are we no longer playing poker? Okay, that's better. I'll wait for a better spot than this. I've got enough to, to wait. <laughs> Didn't have to wait long. Not that I'm guaranteeing victory or anything, but this is a better spot than 6-7 off suit. Definitely not guaranteeing any victory. Last time I saw him play, he had the queens. Bad flop. Alright, check. Not a terrible run out for me. That's a bad sign, though. Bad spot, I think. He was certainly acting like he had a king the whole way. And if not, then the gloves are obviously there. Alright. 
made the break. I don't even think I've made the break yet in one of these things. How sad is that? But, uh, I have now. You know what? I just noticed something. The quality of my face cam is noticeably better than it was the last couple of times I've recorded something. As usual, I've done nothing. It's just deciding to work better all, all on its own volition. I did nothing to make it worse. I did nothing to make it better. It just decides when it wants to work right. No. Obviously, it can be cute to play the Doyle Brunson hand, but I don't do. I don't dare do that at a at a full table. I would never. I would never play ten two at anything. Like, more than a five-handed table. Five-handed, I might play just for, for the memes. But playing a hand just for the memes is never a good idea. Unless your name is Nicholas Rigby and you've got 2-3. <laughs> then you can just win every single time with it for some reason. I mate dear. Ukraine, welcome. I have no idea how he wants me to say that name, but I did my best. I mate dear. Uh, in, not in great shape right now. Well, I just went up too. So I'm probably going to be looking for good spots. Yanks, United States, welcome. And I'm still going to be the big blind. Please tell me that Kundek Des is, is the delay button next hand. Because this is this would be way too annoying. Now granted it does happen, but it's still annoying. This one's all you. I won't fuss over this one. Thank you. Now, once again, I have Ace-10. Let's see if the flop's going to be Ace-Queen-8 this time. Actually, I'm... With the dealer button positioning like that, I'm finally now realizing why... <laughs> what?! It, not worth it. Not worth it. As I was saying... Would you please fold for me?! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Anyway, um... Fall with Queen 4 and you're actually gonna win the hand. You snap call with Queen 4. As I was saying, um, I'm I'm now realizing why they make you sit out if you're the small blind and you just came to the table. That makes a lot more sense than I initially thought. That's a six X raise. It was limped, but even then, usually people stop around the four X mark. Oh man, this guy can't even spell poker. I made there. 
I don't even think he's here to play poker. He's just here to take people off. And get insanely lucky. I'm sorry to see that, Yonks. What are these guys doing? What what are they doing? What, what, what was any of that? And how did the pair of jacks win that hand? Fair fair reaction, I guess. I guess Black Belt Hooker wasn't even thinking about the, the size of that bet. He's assuming it was gonna be another min bet. What what did I just witness? Everyone here is forgetting how to play. Good to see. I think the only uh, genuine mistake that I've made so far, uh, two actually. There was my there was my raise really early in the game with nothing, and then there was the really small bet that I made with nothing later that I should have sized up a bit. Trips that'll do. Ah. Really? Philip Rivers would say that before every single play he made. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell. Okay. Well, that's not really the. It's a win. It's a win. At this point, I'll just take it. I got an extra 220 out of it that I, <laughs> I got 220 more than the minimum out of it. And I got 4-7 here, so nope. <laughs> okay, well, that would have been an amazing flaw for me, but of course, how would I know that was 7 4 offsuit? Z Shelton, United States, welcome. Or Z Shelton, but he's American, so Z Shelton.
threes. More than the nines, at least. He's going to be nice. The flop's not. <laughs> I've got the red threes on an all all blackboard. Nah, no thanks. Not much upside in that. I love six four. Got a chance to play it. Oops. Last time I saw him shove, he had queens. 6-4 can't beat queens. Even if it were PKO, that wouldn't be worth it. I mean, it's just, you know, not yet. There's no bounties on day one. Only day two. And all of a sudden, without doing a ton wrong i'm down to 17 bigs i've done a little bit wrong no doubt about it but not a ton <laughs> six four Six eight. Six four wins this round. Queen King. I have just enough to make one more regular raise before I have to shove. What a flop. What a friggin' flop. Yeah. You either have an ace or two clubs, and I don't even know if I can call that. If you got an ace, I've got five outs. If you got clubs, you have a lot of outs. I don't think you're ever doing this with worse than my hand. I mean, besides the draw. I'm getting so short, though. 11 big blind. No, no. Are you serious? I hate robots. All right, I guess I'm going to go the rest of the way then. I got 11 bigs. I don't know what you want from me. Snap. Got a call by the first person.
Yeah, I'm quitting. I have to quit. I I, I, I can't deal with robot poker. <laughs> Probably can't deal with poker just in general, but... Oh, it's a flip. He didn't pop a set. I'm shocked. Any base card. Oh! Alright. I'm still kicking, actually. Maybe I just need... Maybe I just need Conductus to be at the table with me. We can both ride short stacks for a really long time. So before that hand, I was 95th out of 97th. Now I'm in a better spot. Heck yeah. And they give me ace 10. Because of course they do. Got so many adventures with this hand today. Plus. Okay, never. Are you kidding me? Ace 10 would have been in actually pretty good shape here. I'm glad I folded. Oh, that's right. It's I Matir here who doesn't know how to play poker. One secret one, United States, welcome. I am glad he did that, though, because it saved me a bunch of grief. I, I, I probably would have had to call with the ace-10. I've got... Oh, boy. I have to gamble at some point to get back in this, I think. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I'm going for it. It's a good start. Okay, I know we gotta dodge. Oof! Back in it now. King 10, which has been losing a lot more for me. Thank you, whoever that was. I want to believe it was Conductus. I can't believe I'm doing this to you, King Ten, but you have been a bad luck charm for me. I'm letting you go. <laughs> Saved myself 400. Burr going to be a king, though, I know it. Or turn, that works too. Yeah, of course I would have won. But I still wouldn't have wanted to call that shove, so I still saved myself 400. It's really AJ. United States, welcome. As in AJ Green, the Bengals. I think I think AJ Green just retired.
it's been a long time since I played on replay poker, but these this actually is right about the uh the typical replay poker blind structure to a T. They go up every ten minutes, you start with four thousand, start with blinds of twenty forty. This is about how they go up too. Nah. I can wait. Especially because the rest of the table seems to be more willing to gamble now. I don't think I've had a raise and take it in this whole tournament yet, have I? I almost had one with that when I had two aces. Holder's remorse, 100%. Oh, oh no! I had quads. Oh my god, and there's a bet and a raise. And I know that none of them. Oh god, I missed out on so much. And I know they don't have quads because I would have been the one to have quads. Oh no! I was about to raise and I decided the last second not to. Oh my god, I would have. That would have been like. Practically my ticket to day two. I mean, not quite, but that would have got me like at least halfway there. Seven. You basically have absolutely zero reason not to play. I like how that graphic still has the rays added to it, even though you kind of can't. Okay, well, the math is correct. And now he's got 9-8. Oh my gosh, the humanity. Except his 9-8 is garbage. The Lon McCarran Memorial hand holds up. Delicia Cremosa from Brazil, welcome. Air. Absolute air. Note to self, maybe I actually have to call him down with a marginal hand sometimes.
Oh? He raised an amount that's not all in? I'm absolutely shocked. He might have finally read Hooked on Phonics. Wait, is that a book or is that like a computer program? I honestly can't even remember. I remember being just awestruck at computers back when I was in kindergarten in 99 and 2000. And I remember the whole rest of the class being awestruck by computers. Yes. Not playing Queen 9 for that much. Oh, wow, we got some big ones here. Are they the biggest? No, they are not. Mike Sinna with 39999. Okay. <laughs> no Sample, Brazil, E Boy, Russia, Corvette Racer, United States, Ruka Boha, Ukraine, Dimak Demik, also Ukraine, I figured, and Nathaniel, Brazil. I'm not exactly a hopeless stack here, but compared to these guys, <laughs> I feel like I might be just a small little fish squibbling around the tank. Oh, you get cards this time. Neat. No. Oh, man, I'm thinking about that quads fold for at least a little while. I mean, I'll move on inevitably. I mean, I'm about to move on from playing poker at all. Even though I like I folded for a I feel like a pretty solid reason. I was still about to raise, and if I had just if that second thought had just stayed in the back of my head for two seconds longer. Holy crap! Are we gonna see it? Oh no royal flush. That's as close as you can possibly come, though. Oh here, here's a hand. Uh 590. We are one United States. Welcome. Oh, Bobby Dillick, United States. See number four. Why is Santa Claus wearing the ring on his thumb? Is that a wedding ring to Mrs. Claus? Or is that a ring he won from an elf bowling competition? Yeah. Yep, I just said that out loud. I didn't completely hear about the swap. I do hope that he folds. Thank you. I told you I'm in a much better mood playing poker compared to the last couple of times I tried. Ooh, there's a nice hand. Not planning on re-raising, though, because if I three bet, it's going to be for a huge chunk of my chips. I still have under 30 bigs. By me. Especially with the blinds coming up. I 
I'm just I'm just happy and refreshed that I actually put up a fight in one of these mystery bounty flights. The other two that I played, it was they they both went horribly. Now I'm actually starting to kind of get close. Remember the blinds are gonna be six hundred, twelve hundred on day two. We're at, we're at one fifty three hundred right now, so we're at a quarter of the blinds on day two. I'd like to do a commentary on the final table, but I don't know. How long is it going to take for that to actually finish? Like, it should take a really long, long time if the blinds are going to be 15 minutes. And if, you know, some people are willing to just keep blowing 250 a pop just, just so they can start... Day two with uh, 450 big blinds instead of 410 big blinds, you know, because that makes a huge difference. Even if I'm not, even if I'm not a part of day two, after all, that's going to be an awfully long wait to determine, you know. Because I want, because what I want to do is wait for the tournament to get down to like the final three, three or four tables, and then look at everybody by nationality, and you know, put the flag up by their up by their screen names, because that's that's, just, I think that that adds just a little bit to the experience. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, because I might have to stay up until like three a.m. just for the tournament to get down to the final few tables. And. I love you guys, the YouTube audience, but I have to value my sleep above <laughs> attaching flags to players. I'm also going to cover the uh, the eleven dollar tournament that I mentioned. The uh, I think it's called the Last Roll. Yeah, even if I don't play in that one, I still want to cover it. That should end at a more reasonable time. I was going to say if he actually goes. For if he actually pops me, I've got an I I'm willing to run with Ace King here cuz again I'm under 30 bigs. If you're under 30 bigs, Ace King is go mode. So tomorrow 10:45 is my $1.10 game and then 2:15 p.m. is last roll. Day 2 of this starts at 1:30 p.m. I'll, I might still play last roll if I have a if I make it to day two here on a short stack, but if I make it to day two with you know at least thirty big blinds, like I said, then I'll be focusing my whole energy on this. Well, actually, I guess if it if day two of this is going to happen is going to start first, then that should be the the only determining factor. If I bust really early, I may as well at least attempt the last roll. I'm not late regging by more than, say, 15 minutes. I may as well try it. Big moment. Big moment. I thought about making a raise there, but I don't know if Nathaniel's already in there under the gun. Oh gosh, it's Ebex 18. Second place overall. Alright, I'll bite. I, I, I said I didn't want to name names, but Ebex 18 was the guy who's already registered a billion times in this thing. I 
I'm not going to act like I'm not impressed with his ability and his consistency to keep sticking around and playing very well in these flights, but enough is enough, man. Again, when you're going from like 410 big blinds or 450 big blinds, that's not that big of a difference. And we're way past that. He's up to 900-ish big blinds for day two. I have no idea why he's trying to add another 25 or 30. But he just cannot stop playing these. If it, if it actually works out for him and he makes the final table, then good for him, obviously. But... It's not going to be a walk in the park to just get to the final table just because you start with that many chips. Because the medium-sized stacks suddenly have time on their side when they were more in panic mode during day one. almost all my stack that's a no if I were e-boy in the big blind maybe Certainly looking a lot more. His calling range is definitely hitting this board a lot. Alright. You can win this one. Yep. I guess I can't really fault him for calling with a gut shot when he's got that many chips. I think he's trying to trap me, <laughs> make me bet again, but thankfully I was I wasn't gonna fall for it. Okay, well I'm down to nineteen big blinds again. <laughs> Black Belt Poker is in for four bullets just on this. At least Ebex is in for only one bullet on this particular flight. God, the blinds went up again. Player have 16. I feel like I shouldn't be looking for an all-in yet. But I might be. I might be. Certainly, if I have a three bet all in worthy hand, then there's no question it's a three bet all in. Yeah. 
So close. I've got enough that I can wait for a slightly better spot, I think. Really close, but no. What? Great, another genius. Oh, great, two people packing their bags and leaving. Thank you. Got shot. Pair. Okay. Let it buy me a little bit of time. Back up to 19 big blinds. Cynthia AKs. Bless you. Welcome. Yeah, I'm small blind and big blind's got almost five times as much as me. No, not worth it. No. Yarbs, United States, welcome. Why are you still late wedging into this? Or rebuying or whatever. You're only getting 11 bigs out of this. Come on. I know you're allowed to. So you can't be a... Wow. You know what? Never mind. I'm, I'm really happy you did that. For now. I'm probably going to be very sad in a couple seconds. Oh, that's an excellent start. Yes! Storm dead! <laughs> that could not have been any luckier. <laughs> well, I'm out of the danger zone now. I don't think that's a permanent condition, but I'm out of the danger zone now. Vice, Vice Chic, United States, welcome. Sure. That's one of the chats. You got it. It's a gut shot, but it's a bad draw. Diamonds out there and no, and no spades. I just realized I'm below average still. I gave the sunglasses reaction when I'm still not even chip average. I mean, I'm very close to chip average, but... Oh, boy. I still have a lot of work to do. Good start. Bad finish. <laughs> King of Spades is nice. Three of clubs, not as much. I'm having a much better time with myself than I was recently, though. And this might have been worthy of putting on YouTube anyways. Even if I wasn't... Even if I hadn't decided ahead of time that... Wait a minute. We still have three levels of weight rage? Even though weight rage right now is 11 bigs? What is wrong with you, ACR?
And you can tell that it's still happening because the total number of people just jumped from 78 to 80. Why? This should not be allowed. This just shouldn't even be an option. If you're wondering why I'm shifting in my chair, yes. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to the break. It's in only it's just in seven minutes. I'm pretty sure I can hold it that long, but yeah. On the break, I will be using the bathroom. I'm also gonna brush my teeth. Because this is probably my last chance to brush my teeth before it'll actually start affecting how dinner goes down. Notice that I'm ranked 33 out of 82, even though I'm below average. That's what happens when you just let people late reg this this freaking late. I've done some damage with this again. Don't know if I want to play when there's an under the gun raise by that short of a stack, though. Oh, oh boy, I. I might need to do more in the bathroom. In fact, I'm actually going to go right now. I'm going to pause the recording, and hopefully I don't take too long, because I don't want to miss too much more of this. Okay. I actually didn't take too long for, for once in my life. And, oh, I see I'm at a new table. And here's Ebex. All right, I want to make it very clear. It's... It's his money management that I don't respect, but clearly... Okay, never mind then. But clearly, if he does have all those tickets, he must be a great poker player. I have to respect him as a player, just not with his money management. But I guess it doesn't matter right now. Caucasian 48, nice name. United States, don't eat the apple. Malta, Bola 8335, Brazil. Matt Holdvik, all caps, Canada. 19, stash 59, United States. I can mouse over it, though. Gambler00500 was Russia, and Ebex was American. Fairly standard operating procedure with stacks that short. Nubod. India. Welcome. Nishi-san, 2204, Peru, welcome. Please. Please stop late regging this ridiculously far. I know you're allowed to, but you shouldn't be. We're going to let you late reg with eight bigs in this one. Unforgivable. That was an awfully loose call. He had the right idea, to be fair. The Queen 8 shove obviously was just for pressure's sake. Meanwhile, I can wait a little bit longer. He's gonna shove me with twenty with twenty two big blinds. Enjoy your extra four hundred, dude. If I actually had a hand, you would have lost over forty percent of your chips. 
and you gain like four percent with that shove. Congratulations. I'd say that is one heck of a flop for a new bod. Don't need the apple, obviously can't be blamed for that show. BB2233, United States, welcome. Fellow Grinch. Oh, for the love of God. Two hours. The next flight has literally started right now. What are you doing rebuy? Oh, wow. Rebuying into this one with 10 big blinds. Go to the other one where you actually have a fair shot. Okay, uh, Gustavo Padilla, if you couldn't tell, Brazil, Kujaku, Colombia, Smoky Smiles back from Russia. How many people on the leaderboard are in for multiple bullets? Oh, actually, not too much, not too many. I should tell you something. It's the ones at the bottom of the leaderboard that are in for a bunch of bullets. This dude's in for eight bullets! Why? Why are they wasting that much money on this? This table was pretty much an automatic shove fest. Can't believe I'm the third biggest stack at this table. <laughs> that shouldn't even be possible. I'm still way under the chip average. Five. Oh, clubs. Or jack, obviously. Or nine. Nope, and that won't do it. And I'm still the third biggest deck at the table. There we go. Oh, I got Ace Queen. And Nubod rejoins me. And Nishi san. Full of shoves, I'm coming. That's not a shove. If it folds, to, if, if these two fold, I'm going to pop them all in. Mm -hmm. And we immediately get more complicated. Okay, well, it's not what I wanted. But by restraining myself and only seeing a flop there, I can tell this isn't the one. I can tell it's not the one. All right. Now on all in or fold. Especially with the blinds going up again. Well, I got 12 big blinds. But I've gotten back in it before, right? Now the blinds are half. Wait, no, they're not. They're closing in on being half of what they will be on day two.
my gut feeling tells me that I'm closing in on being out of chips here because I've already won several all ins. Can I really expect the robots to keep me alive for that long? Me even being here is a little improbable. In ten. The bull student's still gonna try and hope and hope that I have fold equity. Okay. But not if he's gonna raise. Medic fifty seven fifty six from the United States. Welcome with your eight big blind fresh stack. I will never understand how there could ever possibly be any appeal behind late regging this far. Nicely done, Matt Holvick. Kept him string along the whole time. There's no overcards popped out. That's always nice. El Mono Guppy, Argentina. Another ultra late reg. America's card room just doesn't want to save these people from their own stupidity, I guess. To be fair, I mean, I guess that's not the worst mindset. If they're going to be that stupid with their own money, then, you know, let them play with fire and then get burned. Easy decision. I'm just happy it's an easy decision. Even though I could easily... Oh, okay. show I'm not screwing around. I'm still a little too short to play real poker. Sweet. Even easier decision. Okay. Not ideal. Of course, I was looking for a call there, but oh well. Oh, come on, robots! Obviously, I disconnected. I'm just glad OBS is constantly on, so you can see that I'm that I really am disconnecting here. Oh, come on! I got dealt Ace Queen again, and I can't play because of the stupid robots. At least I actually have 16 big blinds now. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I wasn't involved in this one. The robots saved my butt. I can't believe it. Nope. 
No. <laughs> yeah, add four high. I'm not calling you. Uh, Fabuloso 99, United States, welcome. That'd be fun. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I always hate to see somebody not shop in a spot like that. And because this is a high five event, we're about to take another break for 420. Thankfully, after late reg. Queen three? When you know that the other guy is going to call you? Borderline one here. Actually, these other guys are all shorter than me. This is actually probably worth it. Hopefully they all fold. Problem. I hope we shop. That's a low card, though. Come on, high cards. Oh! Wow. Pretty lucky. <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right. Medie, Medie Ross Brasil, welcome. And we know that 19 stash is from US. I've run really good in these all ins. Have I lost one? Have I doubled even one guy up so far? I smelled an opportunity and I went for it, and obviously I don't regret it. I still, I still had that opportunity to pick up quads, but <laughs> I've done well without it. Or at least I've survived without it. Ooh. I don't know if you can say that this is doing well. Still under the average. <laughs> After all that, I'm still under the average. But I am kicking. I've got 11 big blinds for day two. The blind, the blinds are now half of day two. So, Let's see what I can do. Hopefully, I chip up a little bit more. I, I don't want to just get to day two scratching and clawing on breadcrumbs. Hmm. 
Let's call Cajun in first place. Uh, I don't think this is updating. If they have my stack, it, uh, yeah, it's not updating. I'll have to fix that. He is actually number one right now. I think the break's about to happen. It's the Loto Colombia. Welcome. All right, well, break's about to happen, and I can fix this. There. Some more Monopoly Solitaire. Let's see you in ten minutes now. Nothing else. I am actually kind of glad that this is in all likelihood my final attempt at a poker series. This tomorrow's game is actually going to keep me away from family going to Costco and having a hot dog and a chicken bake while we're there. I really enjoy that. Uh, that should be the second last tournament I ever play. Or the last if I make this and don't play the uh, $11 one. Well, they're two different lobbies, so I guess you could say that It'll be the second last, regardless. Day one and day two being different lobbies, that is, of this. Oh, Bola. Bola's been doing pretty well for himself. I got enough to call one bet, for sure. That's a good flop for me, too. It'll show. Getting there. Slowly but surely. Didn't even have to declare all in there. Of takes the play away from me. Almost worth six big blinds, but since that's still a good chunk of my stack, it's not worth it. Oh, what a flop that would have been for me.
Okay. Oh, I would have busted. I would have busted. So if I see that flop, I am shoving immediately. Maybe I fold those guys out, but even then, I still would lose the pot to Edmono Goopy. So I would have busted, but... However, if they did, if Midday Ross did call for those pocket tens, then I would have busted. But probably not on that board. Feels good to actually play poker again. I don't have to go all in just for a little while. It's all an all red flop. Got shot two overs. I've seen worse. What in the world? Didn't see that coming. That's such a small bet, too. I don't know what to make of it. There's enough good turns. That's one of them. I gotta gamble. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I completely hacked that up. I have eight big blinds left. At that point in the hand, I don't think it was a mistake to call it off on the turn. I think the, the, mis the mistake was calling on the on the flop. I had no idea what to make of that move. I was getting an insanely good price. There were a lot of good turn cards. I decided to go for it. Obviously, I came up short that time. That that was that was the one I was waiting for 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 to lose an all in. Heart, King, Queen, or Ten were all cards that I could probably push with. I was getting those odds. I thought it was worth it. All right. Looking for luck again, obviously. I really didn't have to do that. 
Uh, they're just folded. They're just folded. Caucasian, it's got a call for him. Okay, yeah, he's got his king. All right. Well, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun, and I got nobody to blame but myself. That's the way it should be. In any case, like, I can't be that mad at myself. Because I still had a ways to go before I was really going to be comfortable on day two. Of course, if I, if I, got, if I played that quads hand, you know, <laughs> i show up there with a lot more chips. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a couple of regrets. But, uh... I still didn't have the worst of times, even though obviously I failed. I feel like I am actually leaving poker on a on a on a pretty good note. Just gotta play tomorrow and then the eleven dollar. If it's confirmed, I'm playing the eleven dollar game on Sunday. Alright. I hope that I'll see you in those with me playing. If not, then I'll just commentate.